Today, surrounded by the people we love, I, Giles Joseph, Caridus Moody, take you, Theodora Alexander Bebahani, to be my partner for life. Because I love how you smile when I smile. I love how you sometimes get your words jumbled up in the cutest of ways. And I love that you're always so generous with your time in explaining why you're right and I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so here are my promises to you. I promise to make you laugh at least once a day. I promise to let you wear the trousers as long as you lend them back occasionally. But most of all, I promise to be your soulmate for life, to be by your side through the highest of highs and lowest of lows, to join our two families together and grow one of our own, and to unconditionally love and adore you, even and especially when we're old and gray. For me, the key to being a dad is to give unconditional love, advice and support, and encouraging you in everything you do always believing in you, and most importantly, being there for you whenever you need, you need me and never letting you down. Tia, everyone who knows you will agree that you are kind, caring, bubbly, and fun-loving. So today, today seems the perfect occasion in front of family and friends for your mother and I to say how much we love you and that we are very proud of you. Everyone here has seen us grow individually and together and had a huge impact on who we are today. It's quite hard to put into words the impact your parents have on you. From my father, Peter, I've learned a great deal about patience. And from my mother, Gail, a lot about persistence. <laughs> Both of which have proved vital to me eventually pinning Thea down. Now, Thea and Giles, remember that true love is not about looking at life through rose-tinted glasses and being perfect. It is about accepting that we all have faults and loving someone is for who they are, not for who we want them to be. So always be positive and remember that you fell in love with each other because of the things that you liked, not because of the things that you disliked. A successful marriage is not about finding a person that you can live with, but finding a person that you can't live without. Welcome to the lovely Brimpton House on this very special day for Giles and Thea. I, Giles Joseph Carados Moody. I, Giles Joseph Carados Moody. Take you, Theodora Alexander Bebahani. Take you, Theodora Alexander Bebahani. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Theodora Alexander Bebahani. <laughs> I, Theodora Alexander Bebahani. Take you, Giles Joseph Carados Moody. Take you, Giles Joseph Carados Moody. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Giles and Thea, you have made the decorations required by law and you have made solemn and binding promises to one another in the presence of all your witnesses, family and friends. May you treasure this trust and responsibility. May your lives together be full of much love, laughter and happiness. It gives me great pleasure to declare your husband and wife.
It is normal at this point to welcome the new son-in-law to the <laughs> to the family. But we've always treated Giles as part of the family. You also treated us like your family over the years. Now everyone can see how much you love Fia. And you are sensitive and caring with a great sense of humor. And I know that you meeting Fia made both your lives more complete. Claudia and Hotsro, you've welcomed me into your family and treated me like your son over the last few years. Not to mention you have been instrumental in making this weekend happen. So a huge thank you, and I'm very excited to officially be part of your family now. The wedding process hasn't been easy. Arguments, tears, and pressure from all angles. So eventually I accepted your proposal. <laughs> We say to each other all the time, I can't believe you were once a stranger to me. And it's true. You cre create an equilibrium in me that everyone around can see and feel. And quite simply, I need. You are honestly the kindest person I have ever, ever met. There is and never has been any games with you. You are just who you are and I love that about you. I feel so, so lucky now to be your wife and I promise I'll never take that for granted. Sophia, earlier today I said a few promises in my vows. That I would be your soulmate for life. That I would always be by your side. That we'd bring our families together and grow one of our own. And that I'd unconditionally love and adore you until we grow old and gray. And I couldn't be more excited about doing all of that with you, spending the rest of my life with my best friend. So to end, I'd like to raise a toast to my new beautiful wife, Theodora. To Theodora.